Hello, welcome. My name is Shekhar. I'm from Focus Training Services in Pune, and uh, I'm going to talk to you regarding the Red Hat Linux certifications. So let me start with what the first step is. The first step is to become what we call as RHCSA. So what is RHCSA? RHCSA means Red Hat Certified System Administrator. It's a certification provided by Red Hat Corporation in the USA. And once you go through that certification, you become eligible to get a lot of openings which are there in the Indian market as a Linux system administrators. That is the kind of job that you will be looking for and people will be hiring you. This is a highly sought after certification for Linux system administrators or Unix system administrators. So how do you become certified in a Red Hat or how do you become RHCSA? You have to pass an exam. The name of the exam is EX200. If you want to know more about the exam and what kind of objectives the exam has, then you can visit this website at www.redhat.com. And one of the things about this examination especially in India is that you must go through the training course from the Red Hat certified partners in India. The partners are available throughout India. In Pune, we are focused training services located in the heart of the city. We can provide you the training and once you go through the certification, then only you can appear for the exams. This is a mandatory requirement and the reason for this is the quality. Only the certified training partners, only the certified training professionals can deliver this training to maintain the high quality of the certification. That is the first step. This certification exam is very, very important. I want to give you a few words about this certification exam. There are quite a few certifications out there which are Microsoft, Oracle, Cisco, CCNA, quite a few certification exams are out there in the market. But this examination, RHCSA, and all other examinations from Red Hat are a little different. This is a hands-on exam. This means that you will be given a server once you come in the exam hall. There would be one server per candidate, and you are supposed to solve your question paper, your exam paper, over there. This is an open book exam. It means all the documentation from Linux Red Hat is available to you on that machine. The duration for this examination is three hours. The passing grade is pretty high, 70%. You must score 210 marks out of 300 to pass the examination. This examination is conducted by a Red Hat employee. For example, if you are attending the examination in Pune, the Red Hat employee will be coming either from their Delhi or from their Bangalore or from their Bombay office and they will conduct the examination to make sure that the quality is maintained. No other organization is allowed to conduct the exam on behalf of Red Hat just to make sure that the quality of the examination is of the top priority to all the employees at Red Hat. And that's why the Red Hat employee themselves, they come here and conduct the exam. The fee for the examination is approximately 12,500. This changes from time to time. Usually it goes up, doesn't come down. The reason being, this is a highly sought after certification. The eligibility, as I mentioned earlier, that you must finish the training from Red Hat authorized partner at any location in India. If you want to do this at Pune, then Focus Training Services is one of the choices that you have. We are the best training partners in the entire West region. Our phone number is mentioned over there. What kind of things are asked in the examination? All these things, Linux user administration, network administration, web server, FTP server configuration, all these things that you are seeing here on the screen and many, many more are actually what we call as a syllabus. And since, as you can see, this is not so easy. You have to understand it from the professionals who have been working in this area for a long time. And that's why the training is must to be conducted by the training partners. Then you will get this kind of certificate from Red Hat USA once you pass the certification. Your name will be there. This is again, as I said, highly sought after certification. Red Hat Certified System Administrators. Jobs are plentifully available in the market, in the Indian market here. Once you become certified RHCSA, you can use this logo on your resume and again, it's a it's a uh, uh, like the the thing which you can be very proud about.
to put this logo on your on your resume here what is the next step after that this is just the beginning there are so many advanced paths in the certification of Red Hat Linux the next one is obviously RHCE which means Red Hat Certified Engineer the examination number is EX300 again you can find out about the objectives on the website of Red Hat www.redhat.com and the training can be provided at Focus Training Services in Pune or by any other Red Hat training partner what are the topics advanced topics are there DNS server DHCP server advanced web server FTP server Samba server email servers advanced network topics like NIC bonding uh, SSH tunneling quite a few things are there firewall configuration is there system troubleshooting iSCSI quite a few topics again an advanced course and advanced certification and once you finish RHC SA you can become and RH, uh, you, you can use this logo on your resume of Red Hat Certified Engineer. Now these are the two basic things as you can see from left to right RHC SA the training course is called as RH200 and the examination is called as EX200. Once you finish RHC SA you can go for RHCE or you can go for a course called as virtualization course. This is again a, a technology which is coming up in the Indian market RHCVA. Right now, uh, the number one uh, virtualization vendor in the market is VMware, and Linux, Red Hat Linux, is now almost close to VMware in certain areas. It exceeds the capabilities of VMware, and therefore, this technology is is budding in the market. So you may think about becoming a RHCVA, which is called as Red Hat Certified uh, Virtualization Administrator. After that, if you want to go towards advanced topics, people who have been working in the field of Linux for three to four years and who are already RHCE certified, they can go for advanced courses like server hardening, which talks about security and how to make your server very, very secure from the hackers' attacks. That is server hardening course, RH413. Then the next one you can choose is clustering and storage, which, which, which makes the system in the data centers highly available. A very nice technology. The competitors are Veritas cluster, Sun cluster, IBM's HACMP, and Linux cluster is what we call as RHCS, Red Hat, uh, Red Hat Cluster Suite. That is another technology under the heading of RH436. Then there is another thing called as Red Hat Satellite Server, which allows a huge corporation, a huge data center to make sure that the installations and the maintenance of the servers and the patch upgradation is happening in a very smooth way. So therefore there is a server called as a Red Hat satellite server. You need to understand how to deploy new servers from uh, the satellite server, how to upgrade, how to install, all those things are kind of discussed in the satellite server course. And then the topmost course is called as a Red Hat Linux performance tuning. After you have spent a lot of time in the Red Hat career, in Linux career, this is the course that you must go through. It gives you the detailed information about CPU monitoring, not just monitoring, CPU, memory, network, I.O. subsystems, and how to do the tuning of all those things and make sure that the performance of your system is top-notch. So these are the advanced courses that are available for advanced RHCE people. After this, you may want to consider this new field which is coming up in the market these days called as cloud computing. There are two additional courses that Red Hat has come up with called as cluster storage and OpenStack cloud computing. With the help of these two things, you can very easily understand how the cloud technology works and become an expert in that. So there are these two courses and associated certification exams for each of those courses. What I would like to tell you now, all these courses are available to you and the certification exams at Focus Training Services in Pune. We are the number one in the West region of India. Please contact us if you need any more additional information at 30243333 or you can visit our website at www.focustraining.in. Thanks a lot.